Many restaurants these days are offering paper straws instead of plastic ones since they break down in the environment more quickly than their plastic brethren and do not yield the micro and nanoplastics that are worrisome since they show up in our blood. But now we have a study that raises a concern about the paper straws. It seems that perfluoroalkyl substances, or PFAS as they are commonly known, have been detected in all sorts of straws except for ones made of stainless steel. This finding precipitated a flood of headlines such as not so eco friendly paper straws contain more forever chemicals than plastic. Perfluoroalkyl substances have been in the news a fair bit because of their environmental persistence and their presence in our food, drinking water, and most concerningly, in our blood. PFAS are used in a wide array of products, ranging from fast food containers to clothing, because of their resistance to oil and water. So it's not surprising that they're ubiquitous in the environment. Of course, just because they are there doesn't mean that they're causing harm. So what evidence is there for the alarm that is being raised? Animal studies have linked some PFAS with health effects on the liver, immune system, cardiovascular system, birth weight, even cancer. However, the doses used have been far greater than those to which people are exposed. As far as human studies go, the most significant finding has been the suppression of vaccine response in children, as seen by reduced generation of antibodies. There's also some evidence from epidemiological studies in heavily exposed subjects for a link to thyroid problems and uh, cancers of the kidneys and testes. As a result, regulatory agencies in many countries have tried to come up with what they consider to be the maximum safe daily intake. Since the evidence of harm is open to interpretation, the limits that have been arrived at differ widely. Canada's limit in water is 30 parts per trillion, meaning that if all the water ever consumed over a lifetime does not exceed this concentration, there is no need to be concerned. European standards are even higher, US ones lower, because it all comes down to some educated guesswork. Now about those straws. The researchers mashed them up, extracted the pieces with a solvent in which PFAS are soluble, and then tested the extract. They found a median amount of 0.4 nanograms per straw. So what does this mean? If the beverage you're drinking were to contain the maximum of 30 parts per trillion of PFAS, one would consume 6 nanograms of PFAS by drinking 200 milliliters. This is 15 times more than what was found to be present in the straws. And of course, drinking from a straw is different than mashing it up and extracting its PFAS content with a solvent. Essentially then, as far as health goes, finding that straws contain PFAS is a non-issue. However, when straws are discarded, be they plastic or paper, they end up in landfills or water systems and do contribute to the overall environmental load of perfluoroalkyl substances. Another problem with paper straws is that their texture is really not very compatible with enjoying a drink. If you really must drink with a straw, you can always carry around a stainless steel or a copper one. But remember that it's actually possible to drink a beverage without any kind of straw. That for today is our cup of joe. No straw needed.